Hello guys, welcome back to GizTube. Today we're back with another video and this is the 1200 subscriber special. That's just a crazy amount guys. And I know this might be a little early to 1200, but I just want to thank you guys all for so much for that. Now this will be one of the first videos I ever made was how to make quicksand, falling quicksand, in Minecraft 1.7.2. And yeah, to celebrate getting 1200 subscribers, I'm making it again. The problem is in 1.8 it actually broke, but in 1.9 it is working. So the first thing you want to do is say this is your friend's house or whoever you want to trap. You have to dig a however you want four blocks deep. So say I was doing it over here, dig. I'm just gonna you know do two by two, so two blocks by two blocks. And it doesn't even have to be like a square. It can be weird like shape like that, you know, just whatever. I'll kind of do this that here too. And you want to dig four down, so four blocks, one, two, three, four. And just, you know, do whatever shape. It doesn't have to be square. Um, really doesn't matter. Just kind of add, you know, whatever you want to add. I'll just do that. Next, you're going to need to get dirt or grass blocks. And any too high flower, I'll be using rose bushes because I think they're the most common. And you see, you can place it on dirt and grass. So I'm going to use dirt because it's a lot easier to get. At least, uh, yeah. And perfect. Let's, and then you just want to place rose bushes on the dirt. Just like this. On every single dirt block you place. Perfect. So now the rose bushes should be one off the top sand. Then you're going to want to place your sand. And see this sand here? You have to remember which one is, you know, your falling sand. One thing you could do is put gravel or red sand, but then it would be a little bit more obvious. And then what now if you want to have anything like a chest or anything like that, um, you want to put it now. So what you can also do, if you don't want it to uh, have a chest, you can put string. And when they walk on the string, it will actually activate the quicksand. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you guys that. Now, yeah, you want to place those things down and then drop down and cover it. Then break all the rose bushes. Now, this will cause the sand to actually float. But you have to be very careful not to update any blocks. Because right now, what's happening is the game thinks that the sand is still being held up by these rose bushes. But when you edit a block, it's going to realize that they no longer are being held up and it's going to drop them. Next, you're going to want to dig out all of this dirt right here. You know what? Sorry, guys, it's probably a little dark. Let me get a torch. You're gonna want to dig out all of this dirt, and you gotta figure out if you're gonna do a long drop or more of a quicksand. I really like the quicksand because it is um, very much of a troll. If you're gonna do quicksand, you have to get cobwebs, and don't worry. In 1.9, they made it even easier than before. All you need to do is get shears, and if you, when you find a mine shaft, mine the cobwebs with shears, and it will drop them. Right now, my cobwebs have a weird green hint at the end. If you're seeing that, guys, that's just uh, a glitch. I think. And then if you, of course, if you want it to just end there, then you can. But if you want to have lava or some other thing, just place that down. You know, and of course, it doesn't have to be source block of lava. It can be really anything. Make sure you fill in every single cobweb. So just dig out. And you want to make sure. See, that didn't break it because this one was right here. But you want to make sure that you don't update it. Or it will, of course, break. Now build up and now you have quicksand right here so I'll go in survival to show you guys if I walk on this or open this chest it'll fall this is very you know hard to see more like you'll have your hand over it so I'd suggest this and be like hey present and then when they open the chest it all drops down and they slowly fall and most of the chance they'll be in the middle even if they aren't digging is even if you have good tools by the time you dig it, it'll be you'll be pretty much dead. Especially with sand, it'll keep falling back in place. So this is a perfect trap for either even the factions. If you have enemies uh, in, the, in front of your base, you can make some. Oh, let me. There you go. Um, make some of this even in front of your base to sort of get people to you know be scared. I don't know whatever you guys want to do. But yeah, very very cool. Um, and then the sand will of course actually fall through this, which will make the people back and it'll uh, break because it's not really supposed used to doing that. I guess the sand won't actually drop onto the lava, so you won't lose the lava. So it, it's very, it's cool. Next, uh, well not next, I'm going to show you guys how it would work if you had string. Just with a simple like 
uh, two by two. I'll make a two by two, like which I I don't know. Right here, I'll show you guys with string how it would work. Of course, just get our dirt, get that, get that. So yeah, guys, I'm back. I just fixed it and put the string on top because I forgot to actually put the string before I broke the rose bushes. So now you can see the string here, and all I have to do is when I walk onto it, it'll fall because the string actually updates the block. And the string.